Hey y'all, welcome to, oh, it's a little dark, but it is okay. Welcome to my channel. I am on my way to Ollie's to get some tape. I have a package that I have to ship off. I have a package that I have to ship off from, somebody bought a painting off of eBay. So I have to ship it off. I made about, I, it sat for a really long time. I think I bought it last year. Or did I buy it this year? I can't remember. But I made about $20 off of it. The price of the painting was probably like 3 or $4. It wasn't a lot. I got it from, what's, it's not um the Goodwill. It's, dang, Habitat for Humanity. Habitat for Humanity is where I got it. And it's a hand-painted um, painting. Um, it's really nice. And somebody bought it in Florida. Florida. Miami, Florida. So, I'm pretty sure they got a good deal. Because the shipping was only $40. And then the price of the painting was $10. So, it was like $50. And so, you know. He probably going to resell it or sell it to somebody with some money for way more than that. But, it is what it is. Um, I set the price. I need to do better with that. But anyway, welcome back to Thrifty Madness. Uh, let's go to Ollie's real fast. And to the post office. And then I need to get cash. I need to get cash. Let me stop pointing this thing at y'all. I need to get cash out the ATM. Because I hit somebody up on Facebook Marketplace. They were selling a bag of purses. And they were mostly Coach and Dooney and Burke. And I was like, okay. I mean, somebody gonna buy that, right? So, I bought it. Well, um, they said that they was offering $50. But I was like, ooh, uh, I say about $30. I was like, do you want them for $30? And then the person was like, yeah. So, that's to go today. I don't feel that well, but it's all good. I'm here. But anyway, come along with me. I look a little dusty today. But I don't feel like doing it with myself. And yeah. This is the most people going to get out of me today. My hair is still short. And I love this hat. I can't remember where I got this hat from. But yeah. 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 Okay. Bye. To go like this. Hell, good and all. Stick it right on my way. I should have left the uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
girls be doing? Ain't it? And boom. And boom. Oh no, I lost it. There we go. A bad tape. Crazy. You won't believe what just happened. So I accidentally went to USPS instead of UPS. The label on the box says U S U P S. Like, and now I'm like, oh, <laughs> like what the world? How did I do that? But anyway, I'm gonna go to UPS now, and 
I will talk to you people later. I look a little rough, y'all, but it's fine. It happens sometimes. Okay, bye. Oops. Whoa, Nelly. So I'm on Hulu, right? Let me see if I can zoom in. I'm on Hulu. What movies have y'all been watching? I am a sci-fi girl. I love sci-fi. I watch Crimes of the Future. It was basically about in the future people are not going to be eating real food. Like they can't digest real food. And they basically are going to be eating plastic. So that's basically just, you know, like, hey, bitches, stop eating fast food. You're eating plastic, basically. Oh, and then I watched Hustlers. Hustlers was popping. It was basically a movie. They made a movie about, you know, y'all remember when, y'all remember when Cardi B said that she'd be robbing niggas? Like, back in the day when she was a stripper, she used to, like, drug dudes and then she'll rob them and leave before she, you know what I'm saying, have sex with them or whatever. Because she was in the sex industry. That's basically what this movie is about. So... It is that lady right there. I can't remember her name. What's the funny name? Um, I can't even remember that girl name. That one, and then Cardi B's in it, Kiki Palmer's in it, and then um, an Asian girl, then another little white girl. And basically, they some strippers, and the strip club had tanked because it was like 2008, and you know the economy had messed up and people was losing homes and stuff in 2008 and um basically they started robbing niggas i mean robbing people <laughs> they started robbing men like they had to go back to the strip club or whatever no they didn't they couldn't go back to the strip club because it had changed and people wasn't throwing money like they used to and so basically they would meet men at the bars and they would drug them and then rob them so cardi b got a whole movie out of her life <laughs> and it's called hustlers if you wanted to know okay and then what else i'll show you one more movie moo 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 me uh i watched district nine again came out in like 2000 yeah 2010 but it said 2009 and it was great took me back way back and if you haven't seen it, it's great that's another sci-fi movie i'll show you one more movie i watched and uh let's see i think i watched the mandela effect but i gotta watch that again because i didn't complete i understood it but i didn't completely understand it well those are the last three movies recently that i see on this thing that i watched and i enjoyed and yeah if you're a sci-fi fan then that's that's the one and mr nobody that's like that's a classic right there mr nobody what he just he's just the old man reliving his life and he like damn i'm really old and he dying and they just go through his life and tell his life story and it's really good but yep Oh, I watched the Snow Piercer. That's another sci-fi. Oh my goodness, it was good, y'all. It was good. Like these people are trapped on this on this train because the climate is all jacked up and stuff. And so it's cold outside. It's cold. It's like hella cold. And so everybody just on the train, living on the train. Like that's how they live now. They on the train. And so um, they got the upper, uh, the upper echelon at the front front of the train, and then they got the poor people in the back of the in the in the back of the train. And so the poor people, they back there living their lives. They mad because you know poor people, you know they mad right because they poor. Who's happy being poor? Nobody. So the poor people, they living their their poor lives, and then the upper echelon come, and first they cut off some dude arm and then the second thing that they did was uh, they had already been planted against the upper echelon but the second thing they did was they came back there and they saw taking their kids they was taking them folks little children and so them folks said oh hell no we gotta go get our kids so as they like move forward to each section of the train they learn you know it's basically a story about how society works 
And so it's just like the poor people are moving up to the upper echelon of the train and seeing who does what in the upper echelon and how society is broken down into sections. And that's basically what this movie is about. And then he gets to the front of the train, this dude right here. He get to the front of the train, he learned the real truth mm -hmm. that the upper echelon is controlling all of it and keeping basically the train going. You know what I'm saying? Like they keeping the whole way that society is built going. Like they they manipulate and you know what I'm saying, make people mad, put people against each other, blah blah blah. blah. But anyway, Sci-fi section, that's what a that's what a that's what a good stuff at. That's what a good stuff at. Just had to let you know. Anyway, um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Okay, bye.